talk about the deal being in the church. Let's talk about how I was sleeping with pastors and bishops. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, Lord, hey. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? They talking about this a blouse. This is a man's shirt. <laughs> This does not look like no blouse, do it? No. <laughs> so look bad, talk. Bitch, you are I'm not famous. You are not known. Coming, I know damn I'm talking about what money reside, where the money. Bitch, please. I'm not going to argue with you. Please. 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 Stop bringing these niggas to my house. Stop bringing these niggas to my house. Hold me, please. Hold me, please. Hold me, please. Hold me 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 please. Beautiful weekend, you know, most of it, but yesterday we had some scattered storms throughout the city, county area um, that affected a lot of things in the city. Uh, Drew actually was showing me pictures of your church, right, Williams yeah, Temple? Yeah, my church, Williams Temple. So what happened over there was like the strong winds knocked off the wall. Claps. Mm. Um, and I was shocked when I got those pictures and I was on my way to the gym. I had on my shorts. I don't hold know on, why. hold on. You was going to the gym? Yeah. What you was going to do? I was going to work out a little bit. I okay. worked out. I worked out 30. I burned like 460 um, calories. All right. So um, I got my watch right here. So I've been watching the calories and I was on my way to work out at the gym. Uh -huh. And I had got the text messages. I got the text. I'm going to show you. I'm a, let me see what time I got the text. Mm. So I got the text yesterday around. It's. It actually okay. is no time. Well, I got the text around that time, and I turned around <laughs> real fast, and I zoomed on the how. I well, I got um, went to the highway, yeah, and I saw it. I was very shocked. So and nobody was hurt, though. Right? No one well, was not hurt. Okay, but my thing is this. God, what are you doing? Well, well, you know, this like I said, sometimes you get your storms that says. Now it's crazy because I was like in the city when, you know, it was saying that thunderstorms happened, and it would probably like occur for a small amount of time. I mean, the amount of time I was in the business and walked out, but in the county, I saw people putting up videos where it was hell and all type of stuff. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how it could be like one side of the city is going down, the other side is like. And cool. I heard it was flooded too. And then I went, I drove, you know, like a little bit down the street. I call it the um, the prostitute park. What? That the park is all told. There's so many trees wait, wait down. A minute, wait and, a minute. What is the prostitute park? But you know, Dr. Martin Luther King, uh, in certain parts of the area, a lot of the prostitutes hang out. You know, oh, Jesus so hung out with the prostitutes. So it's a park right there that you call prostitute park. Absolutely, because there there always be a lot of prostitutes dancing and, and standing walkers. around. Correct. And then mm. sometimes I will get out um out of my car and something. do what? And do what? And your private dancer, a dancer for money. Do what you want. Oh. And I will talk to them it's on national news, man. People are, are, are people in the DMV heard like a loud sonic boom that that swept Chew across the region. Firecracker. That's what they thought everybody got to grabbing their straps and stuff. They thought it was going down. You know mm. what I'm saying? But what happened was it was some fighter planes that were dispersed after another plane kind of flew below the level that it was supposed to fly and it was not responding to air traffic control the fighter planes were actually able to get next to it and saw that the pilot of the plane in question was passed out right i saw that yeah man so um the like, plane what the heck the plane was already descending so they weren't able to do anything to stop it so the plane did crash um, so I was reading online pertaining to that story, Shorty, yeah. and it's saying that they have well, they do have many ways to stop a plane and to make sure that it get land safe, safely. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think I think we're given enough time, right? But they were dispersed. Why didn't catch of, it right away? Well, it ain't like a person; it's a whole plane. And I think that they would have to maybe latch on or figure out a way to get people off it because. Um, they should have saved those people. Well, it flew too low. Sleepy already. Joe is not that important. It was not a Sleepy Joe. He's somewhere falling off somebody's stage. He, well, why do he keep falling? Because the man is old. He's about a hundred years old. It's time for you to retire, Joe. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> this is not Joe. This is United States of America. My doctor has gave me a falling condition. I fall every three minutes. This sounds like Governor Parsons mixed with Joe Biden. Well, we sound the same. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Doc. 
Okay. All right. So, uh, you know, after that plane crash, it was a, it was actually a two year old, a grandmother, a nanny on her. So, man, rest in peace to. I'm sorry. I need Trump yeah. back. After, you need what? I need Trump back. Do you got a Trump impression or you? I'm um, be honest. When Trump was in there, my money was good, shorty. Oh, that's Stock what Stock market it is. was good. Interest rate was on um, good. Okay. I went to the bank on Friday. Yes, I did. They said Andrew. And when the bank tell you interest rate is not good, do not buy this next car. My credit score is good. Okay. Okay. But when you're a bank and when your financial advisor tell you it is not a good time because the interest is high. Yeah. And because of your credit is good, they said it's not going to make a difference right now. Mm. So that's why Trump need to get back in. So get you your buy, butt out so the you, office, so Joe. So you could buy a new car. So Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That's now, because the words that come out his mouth, I don't think that's Trump. I think that's just the devil. All right. Well, uh, from new to old, let's talk about it. Let's uh, go. Uh, honey. Okay. So <laughs> personal question, Drew. Yes. How old were you when you lost your virginity? My vagina? You lost your vagina? I mean, you said, you said. No, I said, how old were you when you lost your virginity? Not your What is that? Like when you first had sex. Oh, um, probably seven. Seven years old? Yeah. Are you okay? Absolutely. I'm, this, and I'm here today. This, wow. And I'm still standing after that, all I've been through. That, I survived. I did not expect that. Jeez. Yeah, at seven years old. You don't want, maybe we should. I don't know. Do you want to talk about? Are, no. are you okay? Okay. Mm -mm. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> that is not funny, Drew. I, I mean, all right. Uh, so yeah. there was a woman. There is a woman who is 123 years old, and she is still a virgin. And she is saying that she hopeful. Okay. She said that now she feels like she's ready. And if a man shows up, she'll be willing to entertain the options. And baby, I'm here to let you know. Where's she at, child? Give me that her number. That thing right there ain't hitting on nothing. I know her life insurance policy is at the max. I know her credit is good. I know money is in the bank. <laughs> she Call my say, number. Well, 123. Boy, they tell me I'm the dust off it. Boy, you going hey, you going you gonna go see her. You, I'm telling you right now. She talking about uh, you know, when she grew up, she was raised to, you know, her parents was very strict, so she was kind of like fearful of dating and stuff, right. but she done waited till 123 years old, ain't gay that pulled up yet, now, and I now she talking about she ready. I know some strict people, but I ain't know that strict, child. I'm gonna tell you right now, baby, you uh, the only man you finna see is Jesus. Jesus, child, that's your man, honey. Stay <laughs> right there. He's on the main line. He will tell them what you want. <laughs> You might as well go out with a no hitter, baby. Absolutely, baby. She been saved. She been saved her whole life. They talking about uh, the home she lives in is old, and she's anticipating of it caving in soon. Well, that ain't the only thing. <laughs> Cause I. <laughs> oh Lord Jesus, hundred twenty three on that thing. Mm -hmm. It it about no need. It about no need. It I don't even know what to say. Okay, because I was gonna turn this to some, but I'm still well, affected I'm pretty by sure, Judy. I'm pretty sure, Shorty. I'm pretty sure she can get her somebody at, at 123. Ooh, she probably corpse? can find Rasheen. Well, a corpse mm. or something? I don't know. <laughs> Andy, look, about now it's time to ask Andrew. Get into the mind of brother Andrew Caldwell. If you got some you're going through or know somebody going through some you may even seen some online and you want andrew to let comment me put on, on my thinking cap go ahead and send it in <laughs> ax andrew at odyssey.com ax andrew at a-u-d-a-c-y.com now drew i don't know why they asking you this okay but maybe because they be hearing you you know snap your girdle and stuff every now and then so maybe um are you sure about that well i'm just saying do you got it on today um let me see I gotta yeah, make sure. Got okay. It, huh? gotcha. You wanna hear it? No, I don't. I don't think they need. I, don't I mean, think they, I, I don't am, think they need to hear you snapping your girl. I gotta pop it, pop it, pop it, pop. Now, bam, bam. Okay. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> it reads. <laughs> says, um, this is from a woman listener. She says, I read an article over the weekend where a mother asked if it is okay to have young girls wear shapewear to weddings. I am getting married in August and have thought about asking my bridesmaids to wear Spanx so that they will look their best. Do you think this is an unreasonable request? I would do it if someone asked me to. Thoughts? Okay, actually, you know, my friend is getting married. Um, Tara is getting married. And um, there's a lot of women who has who has nice shapes. 
Okay. Um, who was firm. Be- I would have, and I'm going to wear a girdle um, at the wedding. There's nothing wrong for men or women or asking your bridesmaids to wear girdles or spanks at your wedding. Because she's asking them to wear like under their stuff so that... Correct. Like, so stuff won't hang and stuff won't show. Oh. so There's some nothing could, wrong some, with it. So some could take that offensive if they was like, hey, put these spanks on. Some that is overweight like me that was overweight at the time. If mm. she would if she would have asked me or someone ever asked me to wear a girdle, I'd be like, what, girl? You big too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Fix your face. Fix your body. Okay? Spanx, you need the Spanx. Right. You need the Spanx. It's like, <laughs> oh, Wait, oh. Can you? Oh, hold on, man. Let me pull it up. Okay. I'm ready for I'm the show. I'm just wondering, why do you still wear the girdle, then? Because you, done, you still done got, have to wear You done got the surgery. Yes. You got. So why are you still wearing the girdle? And I'm down to 217. Congratulations. Thank you. Why are the Why is the girdle still Because snapping? the girdle keep you firm. The girdle keep you in shape. The girdle keep you tight. The girl to keep you, 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 nothing won't be loose. Loose, yeah, loose. <laughs> whatever, whatever you do, don't snap the girl. So no there's, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing, okay. nothing is wrong with that. So my you don't only think, thing, you don't think any women will find offense if they, if they was. I think asked some to, th- those that are plus size will. Well, what they might want to wear it anyway, though. Let you want to ask the women. Yeah, you let's at ask women's. W- women. women, women, women. <laughs> Ladies, would you be offended or is that wrong or are you cool with it if 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 you in this wedding and, and you were asked to wear Spanx up under the thing? Is that your thing? Are you wearing it anyway? Do it not matter? I didn't I didn't know this was I mean this Well maybe Mama this is Sandra Sutherland said there is nothing wrong with wearing Spanx. Put them on, cover the bump and put and keep it moving. All right then. All right then, Mama. 314-659-1041. They say ain't nothing wrong with it. Throw them on there. Snap the <laughs> snap the girdle for a while. Shorty, would you tell your girl to throw her spanks on? Well, you know, she ain't got to. Nah, Shorty, if, if she's super skinny, you should still not put it on. Not super skinny. She got that juice and keep, you know. All right, I'm asking. What are you talking about? The nice